ClickUp is a great tool for team collaboration and workflow management, particularly when you're using ClickUp's dashboards to better visualize your data and calculations to manipulate it. Whether you're tracking time, monitoring your team progress, planning budgets, or projecting profits, ClickUp offers two distinct ways that you can perform calculations on your data to better manipulate and visualize it. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated through industry leading apps, tools and integrations. Now, you might be used to seeing Airtable and Smart Suite content on this channel, but we believe businesses are unique. A solution cannot always be one size fits all. So today, let's take a look at ClickUp and see if it could be the right tool for you. Today, we're going to be covering two distinct features in ClickUp, the calculation cards feature and formula fields. Now, while they have a similar functionality, they have somewhat of a different purpose. Calculation cards are used to provide summary views of your data on a team's dashboard. You can use cards to aggregate and display calculated values using your tasks and project data, like sums, averages, or counts, and pull in formula field values. Now, the formula field enables you to create custom calculations at the task level combining multiple fields or logic to tailor your data to specific needs. Now, calculations, sole purpose is for displaying data, where the formula field allows you to manipulate and format your data at the task level. But you can also bring in formula field to display the data they've captured through a calculation card. First, let's look at creating a formula field, and then we'll look at a calculation card as the purpose of it is to summarize our data. We we'll want to pull in some formula fields through that calculation card. So to add a formula field, head to the end of a view, I'm using a table view, and selecting this button icon adds a new field. Then selecting formula from the options, give it a name and select create. Now you'll want to select the formula field from the column and select edit field. You can perform a quick or basic formula by referencing other fields and applying a mathematical operation, which works great for simple calculations, like finding an hourly rate or calculating how much time is spent on a project. Simple calculations that will provide more info to your team. I am calculating how much is left on our project budget. But the real power is in advanced formulas found here which enables you to perform more complex calculations using functions. So the list of advanced formula functions can be found here on the left. When creating an advanced formula in ClickUp, you must always start with an operator. Now, we can find our variables under here, which allows us to directly pull in our fields data. I'll use the estimated budget field and subtract that from the current budget spent. Taking this further to utilize the advanced formula, let's add a label so that our team can see this is the budget we have left or the amount we have left. And let's also format this value so it includes a dollar symbol and is correctly structured. Groovy. Cool, let's create another one quickly. I need to find a project completion time. So using the date diff function to find the number of days between the start date of the project and the end date, this is the formula here. This calculates how long it took to complete the project and could then be used in a summary of the project created using ClickUp's dashboards. Now dashboards are a great way to collaborate with your team and visualize how your projects are going, how your customers are being onboarded and much more. To create a dashboard, select dashboards from the left side panel and then select a template or start from scratch by selecting new dashboard in the top right. I'm gonna select project management so we can see how our team is coming along in our project tracker because you will need to either select an entire workspace, a space or a list and pull in that data. Then create. You'll notice the various widgets that display info on the team's projects and tasks here, pie graphs and whatnot. So these are actually cards. And if you navigate to the top right and select to add card, it is here that you can add your calculation cards. Add a calculation card, but note that you will need to have a business plan. You can pull in data from any workspace, which gives your team insights 
and reporting across all of your projects, which is pretty neat. Okay, you can start by naming your card, which can be changed at any time and any time in the future. Next, choose your location of your data. Again, this could be a specific space, folder or list or everything. And when it comes to fields, you'll need to select one that fits your needs. The simple fields are task count, time estimate, time tracked and money. Here, budget spent, I've similarly created a calculation like this using a formula field earlier, if you remember. If you want to use Sprint Points, make sure that Sprint Points Click App is enabled at the space level and that at least one task in the selected locations has Sprint Points set. We'll just quickly head back to the calculation card. If you create a formula field, like I did earlier, you can directly pull in the formula fields value and display that data to your team. But currently only number formula fields are supported. So keep that in mind. If you create a calculation card and later add a non-numeric value to the formula field, which changes the output, then the calculation card's not gonna work. Okay, so this card will allow you to display your calculations as various mathematical functions, such as sum, count, average, median, min, max or range and you can also choose how the result is displayed by selecting a unit of measure as well as where the value will appear. The card offers further configuration. You can include subtasks, archive tasks, closed tasks from the multiple lists but the tasks in multiple lists click app must be enabled as well so something to be wary of. You also have the option to use filters to further refine what data you're pulling through and what will be shown on the card or the chart or widget in your dashboard, like only showing tasks that are currently active. And once you've set everything up, you just simply click save to create or update that calculation card. Then we can control where your cards sit and what data you want your team to see. Also be sure to check out featured cards as they enable you to quickly incorporate pre-built metrics and visuals. If you need help setting up your project management or automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are always ready and we offer a 30 minute free consultation. So book yours today.